Hey players and animators, um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to skip to the next scene in Flash uh, CS8 I believe. Um, it should be um, ambiguous for all Flash versions I'm presuming. And also how to stop your um, current scene allowing you to put buttons in um, which when clicked will move you to the next scene as said before. Um, but <laughs> first I want to show you my own flash animation which I just finished the other day. Um, as I made, mentioned in a video previously um, that I'd been learning flash so I thought I might follow up with this wee video and mix it in with the tutorial because um, I myself um, had looked for tutorials all over YouTube and the internet on how to skip to the next scene in flash but found no clear ones in English. Um, <coughs> um, but it's not to offend anyone who's um, English is their second language and want to make a tutorial, but um, I thought I'd make my own, um, so here it is, with no further ado. Now first of all, the animation is called um, Earthman, which will be used in a game I'm going to be making in C-sharp, well, already started making. Um, it only has one sound effect, so <laughs> it's not that uh, flashy. Technically it is a game, but um, it depends on your definition of a game, this being minimal player inputs. Uh, so let's get on with this. An intruder on Earth, um, the purple haired guy is actually the antagonist um, of this uh, game, believe it or not. Um, you'll get the believe it or not bit in a second. <laughs> so the antagonist reverses the Earth and then comes Earthman who uh, promptly defeats him with no plot, <laughs> um, reason or even an attempt to make peace. but. Uh, um, only the first two scenes will be used in the game, the last two scenes were really just to get the assessment over with. Um, anyway, back to the actual animation. Uh, to show you the button, because um, you might have seen it in the flash animation if you look really fast Superman eyes, but um, it only lasts one frame considering that the stop button won't run unless it's like a flash file. Um, that was the Windows Movie file I think I played there, um, allowing you to add it into like a video or whatever. And, um, but the Flash version allows you to like upload it to game sites and stuff. So it's quite um, funky to know that you can make your own game just by adding this wee bit of text to a button. <laughs> um, anyway, here it is. This is what we will be doing. We'll be making like a wee button like this, um, and when clicked, a wee scene plays. Technically a game. Anyway, uh, back to the point. <coughs> I'm going to start a new project so that it will be easier to follow the tutorial. Now here we have a simple animation which um, shows a ball moving uh, forward and in scene 2 uh, the ball goes backwards. Now what we want is to go from scene 1 to scene 2 here um, through clicking so um, first of all I wanted to take this in but uh, in the last frame, uh, keyframe of the ball there we'll want to go into Windows Actions and type stop, open bracket, close bracket and semicolon and you can uh, check your syntax with this be blue tick here which is correct so this will stop your animation then stopping it from going to the next scene um, if that hadn't been there it would have just played the animation with no player input since we want player input, we need to stop the animation. And now I'm going to add a button layer, which is going to have a keyframe here. Uh, I'm going to call it button. And I'm only going to have the button on this final frame. If you want the button to always be there, then uh, don't put it in a keyframe. Just, um, just don't put add a keyframe, I guess. Which is self-explanatory. Uh, so button and I'm going to colour it in black and press F8 to convert it to a button and it's a button named button how original, oh that name's taken button 2, ok taken button 3 
So uh, that's a wee button here. Add code to code to it. Um, go to window actions. Um, type in exactly what I type. If you don't, it might have errors. So yeah. On space open bracket release close bracket space hold down shift and your left square bracket open square bracket should I say to get squiggly bracket and do the same with the right square bracket to get the right squiggly bracket. Um, if you're familiar with C sharp, it's quite similar for the whole squiggly bracket thing into the apostrophe at the end of every sentence kind of thing. And now go to and <coughs> note that the and is a capital A and then play and this is a capital P. If you type it pref er, correctly it should highlight in blue so that's quite good. The syntax is really weird, it's basically just go to and play with a capital A and P and then open bracket, close bracket. Um, now to explain what's going to go in here, um, first of all go to and play, open bracket, close bracket. I guess you could call it a kind of inbuilt function um, where what we're typing inside this is the arguments. Uh, usually in these kind of things you type in like one to three arguments. Um, so our first argument here is scene two. Scene two being the scene that we want to play. We're on scene one now, so if you want to replay scene one, just type in scene one. But since we want to go to scene two, we're typing in scene two. And to the right of this, um, we put a comma, and then one. This is the second argument, if you're wondering what this does. This means that when we go to scene 2, we play the first frame in scene 2, that's where the animation starts. The animation will start on frame 1. If you want to like start at like frame 25, then just put it there. Um, so yeah, uh, with that out of the way, that should be it. So if you want to make sure that your syntax is correct, click the blue tick button to check your syntax and mine says no errors, hopefully yours should be in the same boat. Now uh, let's test this animation. And the ball rebounds. And then the animation will repeat itself, allowing you to keep rebounding the ball. Another cool feature that you might not know is that um, if you go to the button here, and double click it to go into its um, base image. It's in the um, down bit here. We're going to right click and insert keyframe. This, uh, what this does is it basically, um, it's like ticking a wee box saying if you want a feature or not. This is basically saying that um, we'll activate this feature. <coughs> and um, when the player clicks in the button and holds their mouse down, the but we want the button to change. So this is what we're doing here. Um, I'm going to make my button turn red. Uh, maybe a different shade of red than that. Kind of maroon actually. Brown, brownie, chestnut brown, whatever. And uh, random font. Okay, that's like the worst colour and font ever. I'm just going to like. That's even worse. Okay, <laughs> uh, Piscarado and green. Uh, okay, cyan, cyan's cool too. We'll go with cyan. Or turquoise, whatever. And we'll make the font bigger. And for over, I am going to make the uh, button. Yeah, I'll just make the font bigger. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. The font size is 54, so I'm going to make mine 65 to show the player that they're um, highlighting something that actually does something. Yeah. Uh, now back to scene one to test this. And now we have a wee interactive button here and we you can call this a game. <laughs> it's not just an animation, it is a game. A bad game, but a game nonetheless. Neither do this. Um, well, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this has really helped, or helped moderately, or helped even the slightest. And um, I hope that you like my animation. Goodbye, players.